You're about to witness the fighter jet that could rewrite South Asia's air power balance, sleeker, smarter, and deadlier than ever before. This is India's Hal Tehus MK2, a cutting-edge multi-role fighter that's more than just a successor, it's a statement. Today, we dive deep into its design, tech, and the bold ambitions behind this made-in-India marvel. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the family. Welcome to Car Updaters. Now, buckle up as we explore one of the most advanced fighter projects India has ever launched. The Hal Tehus MK2 isn't just an upgrade, it's a transformation. Designed by India's Aeronautical Development Agency and built by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, the MK2 aims to leapfrog India's aerial capabilities into the future. With a longer fuselage, more powerful engines, and increased payload, the Tehus MK2 sits comfortably in the medium-weight fighter category, a much-needed replacement for the aging Mirage 2000, Jaguar, and MiG-29 fleets. Let's talk about design first. The Tehus MK2 carries a much more evolved aerodynamic shape compared to the MK1. It's about 14.65 meters long, slightly bigger than its predecessor, giving it better stability, fuel capacity, and internal system space. It features a canard delta wing configuration, which gives it enhanced lift and maneuverability, a design choice seen in some of the world's top fighters like the Eurofighter Typhoon and Rafale. And speaking of power, at the heart of this beast is the GE F414 engine, a massive upgrade from the MK1's F404. With around 98 kilonewtons of thrust, it delivers almost 40% more power. This allows the MK2 to carry a combat load of up to 6,500 kilograms, which includes a full suite of air-to-air -air missiles, precision-guided bombs, anti-ship missiles, and even nuclear-capable weapons. In terms of avionics, the MK2 boasts a fully digital glass cockpit, integrated infrared search and track system, ESA radar, electronic warfare suite, and artificial intelligence-assisted battle management systems. This isn't just a jet, it's a flying war computer. The cockpit interface has been upgraded to include wide-area multifunction displays, HOTA's hands-on throttle and stick control systems, and advanced helmet-mounted displays for superior pilot situational awareness. But here's where it gets even more strategic, the MK2 is being designed with modularity in mind. That means it can be easily upgraded in the future with better engines, new sensors, or weapons without needing a full redesign, a crucial capability in today's rapidly evolving warfare environment. It also features a smart skin, advanced sensor embedded materials across its surface that help monitor health, pressure, and stress points, making it more maintainable and survivable. In terms of speed, the Tehus MK2 can fly at speeds of over Mach 1.8, with a combat radius of nearly 1,500 km and a ferry range over 3,500 km, thanks to conformal fuel tanks and mid-air refueling capability. From a combat perspective, it's a true multi-role platform, meaning it can perform air dominance, ground strike, interception, and even maritime roles with equal effectiveness. It's designed for both offensive and defensive operations, ideal for modern network-centric warfare. What makes it even more special is the fact that nearly 80% of its components are indigenous, including radars, software, sensors, and mission systems. This not only reduces foreign dependency but also strengthens India's defense industrial base. And finally, there's the future. HAL aims to roll out the first prototype in the near term, with full-scale production targeted by 2027 to 2028, with an estimated order of over 100 units.